It's time for Be in the Driver's Seat with Regina, the queen of car loans, and mental health expert, Dr. Teresa Moore. A Saturday morning mix of cars, credit, and wellness created just for you. Brought to you by Joe Bunghammer Chevrolet of Waterford. Plan your next vehicle purchase or get your credit rolling in the right direction with Regina today. And now, Regina, the queen of car loans, and Dr. Teresa Moore. Good morning, good morning. You listen to Be in the Driver's Seat, and I am Regina, Regina Eileen Water, aka the Queen of Car Loans. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Dr. T. Happy Saturday. Hey, good morning. It's Mr. Trust the Process. How y'all doing this Saturday, this beautiful Saturday morning? What's going on, y'all? I am doing so. I'm doing, Ooh. you know, I'm doing so well that I could probably slap my dog if I had one. <laughs> I'm glad you had one. We're glad you had no dog. <laughs> so for all the dog lovers, we apologize now. She was just making a joke. Apologizing slap in advance. Slap out of love. Slap out of love. Slap out of love. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Got some much needed rain last week for my lawn, man. Wait, did you did you pray for that rain? I, I I did a little dance. I did a little dance. <laughs> you reminded us to cut the law. Remember last right, season? Right, right. like, don't forget to cut the <laughs> law. I listen. I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to get back into the green thumb um, life of my grandfather, right? Mm. So I realized um, over some years ago, that was the last thing me and my grandfather did was in the yard. And so I despised it, right? So I uh, would hire people to cut the grass and things. And, and then look at them strange when they ain't cut it right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then so when we got this rain and we started cutting the grass, you know, I looked at it and I was like, you know what? I'm going over to my properties and I'm going to cut each one of their grasses. Right? Oh, that's good. So, Wait a minute. So you cut the, you cut your, so you cut the property went, grass? The properties that I own, I cut the grass last week. Okay. Well, you know, how long is that going to last? Because, you know, we start oh, something because how we feel. But then no, that's not gonna maybe two weeks saying, later. I, feel, I mean, I feel good. But <laughs> thank I mean, you, Lord, for contracted I mean, service. Right. Thank you. No, I'm not saying that I'm getting rid of the contractor. I just said they had a couple of weeks off. <laughs> you know, I wanted to, you know, get that green thumb action to see, you know, if I still, if I still got it in me. I still got it in me but them you know that this eight this 48 this this you know 48. oh my god man I, mean, I was sore too but i was i was thanking god for the rain i needed the rain yeah. i need the rain but it's so beautiful today it is amazing outside it's very wonderful uh, i'm just grateful for whatever opportunity we get to see outside on today so i just thank you for giving me yielding me some time for that but what's up with y'all? I wish y'all could see what they how they dress, y'all. Y'all, man, we need to put some inside cameras in here, y'all. What y'all doing? It's Saturday. What y'all doing? What y'all doing after the show? What's up? So, so Gil, this is what we do every day when we dress. We come out the we come out the house dressed for success. Am I right, Doctor T? Listen, I'm God's best. I'm sorry. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! I mean, you you God's best. You ain't got to throw the yeah. Mayweather I'm show. She threw it in. Well, you threw on. it in. Y- y- don't hate because I'm the apple of his eye. Uh, oh, so, I mean, uh, I'm just huh? looking. I'm huh? looking at the huh? coffin nails. I'm looking at the different prints, the summertime <laughs> prints on there. It's oh, there. Oh, it's there. there. It's there. All right. But, but hey, guys, we got to get started with our show today. Let's go. The word of the day is what, Doctor T? Opposition. Ooh. Opposition. So. When I was thinking about opposition, of course, you know, I was thinking about in terms of a therapist. So opposition to me is fear. When people come to see me, they're fearful, they're uncertain. um, They have some societal myths and some misguided views sometimes. So it takes me to come in and to break all of that stuff up. And so the first thing I do is to create a trusting atmosphere. I set the atmosphere before they even come. So when they step in, that there's a change that's happening because I realize I am an agent of change. But in terms of opposition, when it comes with the word, um, I was reminded of Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you shall be cut in judgment. It shall be condemned. And I say that today, the opposition is going to come. But how you handle it is totally up to you. Mm, mm, mm. I, and I, you pointing at me like I'm supposed to go buying that. Like that's <laughs> really. I was letting you do it because I can. I got to drink some water. Look, look, <laughs> listen. So and that man, I we could just leave it right there. But 
I, you know, opposition, I've learned to direct that to opportunity and look at it, visualize, like Dr. T said, like, what are we going to do about it? And so I began to look at my opposition um, as opportunity. And it is an opportunity to learn either more about what me is, to learn more about me, an opportunity to learn more about the situation that I'm in, or and an and a opportunity to allow God to maneuver in such a way where it's not just about me and what I want to do, but the opportunity of God's will and how he's placing whatever the opposition is in front of me, um, giving me the opportunity to, to lean on him. So opposition now, by definition, yes, it is a much needed requirement so you can have the opportunity to see what God is doing, can do, and will do, and be a reminder of what he has done. Mm -hmm. And so when I think of opposition, I think of the other O word of opportunity, and then I began to set my pace and set reset my faith. Not that I didn't have it, not that the presence of fear wasn't there, but reset my faith faith, excuse me, on what God has for me, because like Dr. T stated, um, the weapon can form, but it is not going to prosper. And when he begins to set those tables, so for me, opposition is opportunity, um, and I began to look at it as such. So for me... Opposition is preparing for the opportunity, you know, so preparing for things that are going to happen. Um, that's the way I look at it. Everybody has their own terminology on anything that um, they do. Opposition, again, to me, is preparing for the opportunity. And I say it twice because sometimes I got to say tw things twice in my head to really understand exactly where I'm going. You know, it, it's preparing for where you want to go but then you don't know how you're going to get there. Mm. And you're figuring it out as you go along. When I put relate that to cars, I position preparing for opportunity for a person when they come in to buy a car from me. Because when you come in to buy a car, you are, your mind is, you're scared. You don't know what to, um, you don't know what's going to take place, especially if you have boost credit, because that's my specialty, right? You don't know what the bank's going to say. You don't know how the salesperson's going to act, or you don't know how you're going to feel, and you're scared. But you don't, you, you're worried about that opportunity. And, and, and for me, everybody is faced with that, no matter what you do. Again, the definition means different things to different people. Me, I put them in my own terms. And when Dr. T came up with it, you know, I, look, I had to look it up in the dictionary. I'm like, okay, well, where is she going with this? I like the fact when, when we have the word of the day or the word of the week, we have, we, she puts it toward a scripture, you know? Mm -hmm. And when I looked the word opposition up, it was a scripture, the biblical mm -hmm. terms, you know? And Dr. T said, what's the bi biblical terms? I was like, Dr. T, that's not, my, that's not my role. So you know what I did? I rolled right by it. <laughs> 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 so I told him <laughs> So I stay in my own lane for things that, you know, I'm learning, you know. <laughs> I, just, I just had to drop my head on that, y'all. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Why you had to drop your head? Because I mean, what's the comeback? What's your comeback? With oh, that? I don't like, no right? come back. I I can't. Listen, I, I I pray it's always a ready word upon my lips so that I can always be Ready, be ye yet ready. Okay, <laughs> you she said, I roll right back, <laughs> <laughs> you know, be, because that's a therapist in her, she rolls right back. Hey. You know, I'm I'll trying. take five minutes to say something or 10 minutes, and she says, You know, I'm not trying to cut you off, but this is what Regina's saying, or this is what I think she's saying. You know, I'm like, Well, thank you, Dr. T. You said it in like one minute, or I'm sorry, 30 seconds, because she's a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I, but when you think about it though, like. When I listen to her, right, and I, and you, even even her reels, or you you get an opportunity to hear her speak, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
you she went to well I, this last one right and I'll make it real quick well went to just to a, a woman's conference or it was a get together on an invite that she saw that somebody sent a text just to drop in and say hey I'm just here she took her presence with mm. her just to drop in but yes just, you know what I'm saying is and as mighty as she is in that in that room and in, in that circle she took her presence. She didn't even shoot a text. She said, I just dropped in. I ain't got my clergy. I ain't got all that on, but I just came here to support my sister. Mm. And I was like, yeah, that's that's my dog. That's that's that, Dr. T. That's you know real. I mean? That's real. That that's that that opportunity. So that's whatever real. opposition was in that room that day and she showed up, she knocked it out. Mm. All right, we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back with Dave Wilkie, the service manager at Joe Longhammer Chevrolet, and we're gonna continue our maintenance. Talking about maintenance from our last month uh, segment, we're going to do a continuation. We'll be right back. Hi, Joe Lunghammer here from Joe Lunghammer Chevrolet with Regina, the queen of car loans and the queen of community. Isn't that right, Regina? That's right. When you buy a car from me, you get on the road in style and you'll be enrolled in the Joe and the Queen's Community Program where we help you work your way towards better credit. Joe knows it's good to help our community here in Waterford and Metro Detroit. To find me, Google Regina, the queen of car loans. Chevrolet, find new roads. Are you paying high interest rates on a car loan? Do you desire to purchase a home, but you're unable to get approved? Perhaps you're repeatedly getting denied for credit when applying for credit cards. Listen, better credit doesn't just happen. You've got to make it happen. I've helped hundreds of people better their credit and their overall financial situation by applying a simple set of instructions that anyone can follow. Call me today, 1-800-988-9184. That's Kathy White. Washington, your financial impact coach at 1-800-988-9184. Don't delay. Call today. Hi, I'm Dave Wilkie, service manager at Joe Longhammer Chevrolet. Since the 1950s, Joe Longhammer and his family have been honored to service your vehicles. With 112 years of combined service experience, we can take care of any concern you might have. From warranty work to routine oil changes, we treat your vehicle like our own. Call now to schedule a next service appointment at Joe Longhammer Chevrolet. Stop by anytime, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Get your vehicle serviced right every time. Call 248-683-7100. That's 248-683-7100. Chevrolet, find new roads. We're at our second half of the show here. Not our second half, but our second segment. And we have Dave Wilkie, who is a service manager at Jill Longhammer Chevrolet. He has been with Longhammer for 33 years. And actually, he's a service manager there, but he started off as a teacher apprentice. And just a little bit about his background. We we introduced him, I think it was a couple months ago. Is that right? Two months ago. Right, two months ago. So we're going to have him on every other month. And sometimes we might be able to get him once a month, but usually every other month. Because we just want to have you guys just learn a little bit about service. Because that's the very important part after the sale, after you buy the car. To me, when I think about it, I think about maintenance is the most important part of the car. You buy the car, the salesperson usually gone, except I don't go anywhere. But, um, you know, the maintenance is the most important. Developing that relationship at the dealership with a service person. But, Dave, good morning. Good morning, Regina. Good morning, everybody. Good, good morning, morning, sir. How you doing this morning? Fantastic. How's that dealership looking? Hitting the ground running. Well, we're, we had a little setback here, and... And we'll talk about that in a second, but uh, good morning to everybody. I hope everyone had a good weekend. Oh, man, it's marvelous. You. Marvelous. We did. We did. We did have a good weekend. Actually, yeah, we actually had a good week because it's a happy Saturday morning going on here um, in Ferndale, Michigan. Is that where we are? Yeah, Ferndale? We're in Ferndale, and I'm super <laughs> excited because, you know, Father's Day's tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to what's coming for the rest of the week- weekend. So happy Father's Day in advance, um, Dave. Oh no, Dave, do you Thank have you. kids? Sorry. I do not. I do not. <laughs> but you but you're probably the, the, the uncle, right? I do have a few nieces and nephews, yes. Okay. All right. So that good, counts. Good. That does. That counts. Dave, that counts in my book. That's honorary. Hey, like, that you, you get an hey, honorary listen, today. If it wasn't for my uncle, I wouldn't be here. That counts in my book. <laughs> yes. I, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. That, that. that counts. Hey, so Dave, I got a quick question for you before we really kind of get into the whole maintenance part of uh, of what you do as far as uh, the service center there. When when you when when the car is being bought, 
do you have do you have a certain you know when do you go to regina and say hey make sure that you get them on the maintenance plan or anything like that like how do you keep maintenance a priority in that department like how do you keep that your members not only just your members but your techs they're saying hey service is what we do how do you encourage them well, that, that typically starts with our finance uh, and insurance, our F&I department. That, that person is going to give you several options for extended warranties. And, of course, if you're buying a new vehicle, you're going to get a factory warranty. And the salesman is going to go through everything there. Um, typically, almost every General Motors car brand new is going to come with one, uh, your first oil change, your first maintenance visit for free. Um, and that doesn't expire. And, and we encourage everybody to use that you know, before 5,000 miles or so. It gets you acquainted with the lay of the land of the dealership. Um, it allows you to get form a relationship with your service advisor mm. and uh, just kind of get you to experience the whole service thing. And uh, so the F&I department can give you several options on going above and beyond your factory uh, warranty for coverage. That's good. You know, Dave, I'm super excited that we're going to be talking about maintenance today. So let's get into it. Let's get into Perfect. it. What do you have for us today? Yeah, well, last time we talked about um, my number one maintenance item is oil changes. Mm -hmm. uh, you just can't ignore that oil change. That's going to be the bulk of your maintenance. And every time you come in for a, an oil change, we're going to do a free multi-point inspection. We're going to check that whole car over. And if we see anything that requires attention, um, we're going to let you know, and we're going to guide you through that process. And uh, we'll let you know if that's something that can hold off till the next time or if it's something we need to take care of sooner than later. And we're going to be all kinds of options. But bringing it to us, we get it on the hoist. We pull the wheels. Every oil change comes with a free tire rotation. So we're going to be able to take a peek at those brakes. Um, if my... Lube technician sees anything out of the ordinary, he's going to call over a, an actual technician, and we're going to get right to it, see what it takes to get you all fixed up. So it's important to stop by, you know, every 5,000 miles or so and uh, not ignore anything. If you have some uh, noises in your car, you have anything, any abnormalities in your car, the way it behaves, you know, call us. Schedule an appointment to come on in. Um, that, that, that's a reminder to something that we had happen to us as a, as a family here at Lunghammer. Uh, unfortunately, we lost a longtime service advisor. Stan Visniski was our senior service advisor of 44 years, and um, mm. he passed unexpectedly Thursday. Um, and that's just, a, that's just a reminder. I constantly make these comparisons to your body and your car. Um, you know, we can't ignore things. Stan wasn't feeling well um, Thursday morning, but he's a trooper. He's, he's part of that old regime where you power through, you work, you don't take days off, you know. And uh, it, it's just a reminder that we shouldn't, re you know, ignore anything with our cars that's abnormal, and we most definitely shouldn't, you know, ignore anything with our bodies. If we feel a little off, a little different, please make that call to a doctor or, or visit that urgent care or ER. Um, life is too short and too precious to, you know, as much as we want to do a great job for our customers and for our families, we can't ignore those signs. We need to take that time to, to take care of ourselves. Well, let me just piggyback on that. I want to piggyback on the maintenance part, but I want to give um, a salute to Stan because um, – Stan, I, I left, um, you know, sometimes we work somewhere, we go somewhere else and we come back to the, I came, I left a couple of times, came back to Joe Longhammer and um, came back home. Um, and each time I left, I actually sent my customers to Stan. You know, I remember when I started at Joe Longhammer Chevrolet in 2010 and, um, you know, I started developing my Chevy customer base because I came from um, a Pontiac brand when they were making Pontiacs. And uh, Chevy was new. And I started sending, I was sending all my customers um, to Stan. Because Stan, you know, he had the experience. I know when, when he, actually, you know, when he passed, he was, um, I think it was 42, or was it 42 or 43 years at Joe Longhammer. Mm. So he started at Joe Longhammer when he was 17. I got the story. He started at Joe Longhammer when he was 17 years old. And um, 
the reason I sent my customers to Stan was because he greeted them with a smile. He would tell them, you know, you, you came in for one thing for your vehicle because you, you know, you knew you were having an issue. But then he, he, you had the list of things that you needed to get done. And he told the customer what they needed to get done, what was the most important part. Because he knew his community. Mm. And he didn't, he was, you know, say it might, you know, you might come in for one thing and you spend $150, $200. But really, you need to spend five or $600 or more to get this done. Mm-hmm. So he would point everything out to that customer, what they needed to get done, what was most important. And over the years, even until the day he, the, his day he passed, you know, the, the day before, we had a conversation about a customer and I watched him tell that person over the phone Mm. because they took the vehicle somewhere else Mm -hmm. and they had just got the vehicle from me and you know instead of calling me they went somewhere else and they wanted us to just take care of and he was like well what is the vehicle doing because another Chevy store was telling another thing and he didn't really understand what was going on and I didn't because I'm not a service person Stan broke everything down and asked him the right questions Mm. Okay, he made him explain. He made him understand Mm -hmm. what was happening with his vehicle Mm -hmm. and was telling him why it wasn't covered because Mm -hmm. he did not know. That's why it's important. And Stan taught me this. It's important to connect the salesperson connects the person with the service advisor Mm -hmm. because it's always important after the sale. Mm -hmm. And I'm so passionate because I love Stan so much, Mm -hmm. you know, because I mean, it's after the sale. All the time. And when you have a relationship with somebody, you got to give them their flowers while they're here mm-hmm. because you never know what may happen. You know, mm-hmm. you, you right. got to give them their love, you know. And it goes back to what you're saying, and I'm going to let you go ahead and talk, um, Dave, is that you got to take care. If you know something's wrong, you got to go check it out. So, Dave and Regina both, I want to first say um, you have our condolences. Mm-hmm. I know you worked personally with Stan and we want you all to know that the bids team uh, sent our heartfelt condolences to you at this time because I understand Dave sure. the last time you were on and Regina you too you both have made it known that you are family at mm-hmm. the Long Hamber dealership so please accept our condolences at this time thank you thank you very much that that means a lot and, and we are here um, I touched briefly on what a great place this is to work, and um, I've lived vicariously through others that have went to different dealerships, technicians, younger gentlemen, um, and we have a return rate, you know. A lot of people, as long as you haven't uh, done anything super wrong around here, we, we, we allow people to take the chance to an opportunity to see what, what it looks like somewhere else and, and be off. <laughs> right. <laughs> I like the way you put that. I love the way you put that. <laughs> we often have some return we return uh, people, you know, they realize that uh, it means a lot when you're close-knit like that. And, and we have a good team in place, and uh, we're going to be looking for someone that can replace uh, Stan. That's, that's going to be a big hole to, to fill. Um, but we appreciate all of our customer base, and we're going to work really hard on making sure that we do fill that gap and we take care of everybody um, to the to the way they've been accustomed to from Stan and everybody else. So give us one thing that you would want to share, one last thing that you would want to share with our listeners about maintenance. And I know you got to think about it for a minute because, you know, that custom, that, that I'm, question I'm came out the air. a little bit of trouble here and from your end, Regina. Okay. So what I said was, what's one thing that you would leave with our customers about maintenance? One last thing that you would leave with us. Um, you broke up just at the end. I'm thinking you're, you're just saying, like, what, what would be my basically end comment to all this? And that's yes. just... Again, everybody really take care of themselves out there. I mean, your car is your most important thing as far as day-to-day activities and getting through life and school and work and doctor's appointments and, and you know, just getting, getting everything together. We definitely need our transportation, but don't ignore yourself. That's number one priority. Don't ignore yourself and don't ignore your family members, you know. I, I mean, I wish I would have insisted that we maybe – Send Stan to the doctor. You know that's that's all hindsight. That's all 2020, and 
um, you have to think about after the fact and you try not to beat yourself up over it. But, you know, uh, again, Stan was a gentleman that was old school, I guess you'd say, very work oriented, wouldn't take time off, you know, and, and as much as we appreciate that so much with everybody and everybody's hard work and effort, you, you just can't ignore your your own health. You can't ignore those signs. No different than your car. You know, get your car in when you hear something. And it's funny. A lot of people wouldn't think to let something go on their car, but they'll let something go on their on their own body. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me just say this one last part. Um, then I'm gonna let you go, Dave. Um, you, Stan was old school, um, and you've been around for. 33 years, 32, 33 years, but you're new school because I got a, a real example right now is that, you know, it's a young gentleman, young guy, I think he's uh, 20, 19, 20 years old, and he's a porter in the service department. And uh, because of him, um, you wouldn't, you, because of your mentorship, being a boss, Dave, you, he, he's, he has some, some health problems and you told him he wasn't feeling well and he looked like he didn't, wasn't feeling well. And you told him, you got to go home, you got to go to the doctor. And then we, then you had a conversation with his parent, you know, to make sure that he went to the doctor. Um, to get everything taken care of, and the, and another follow up call with him. So, you are old school but new school, and you knew, you know, you you knew what to say and what to do, because you said if you're not gonna be feeling well and you look like you do, I don't want you behind an automobile, pulling a car up and something happens to yourself first, and then something happens to someone else. Hmm. So that was key. Yeah. That just came to my mind automatically. So you are, you are the mentorship, the boss that everybody actually should have mm. to care about the person first. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. And that just goes with the whole entire theme of the Joe Longhammer organization. Yeah. You know, we like to take care of one another. So um, work is, is 99.9%, but 100%. You know, we trump that with with caring for each other and 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 looking out for everybody's well being. All right, all right. Thank you, Dave, for joining us this month, and uh, you have a, a a good week. Thank you. You're very welcome. Everybody have a good week, and we'll see uh, we'll see you next time. All, all right, right, Dave. Take it easy. Take care. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, bye bye. Bye bye now. Regina, the Queen of Carlons here with Joe Longhammer Chevrolet. If you're looking to get into a new or used vehicle with affordable rates, we've got your back. My lenders are making unheard of deals where others may have roadblocks. Regardless of your financial situation, I can get you financed and driving today. Simply Google Regina the Queen of Car Loans. Ride in style with the Queen. Regina the Queen of Car Loans at Joe Longhammer Chevrolet in Waterford. Chevrolet, find new roads. Looking to buy or sell your home? Whether you're relocating to Michigan from another state or another country, moving across town, upgrading, or downsizing, Brenda D. Davis from Century 21 Town & Country Real Estate is your locally known home purchase expert. Buying or selling your home is a complex process. Let Brenda simplify it every step of the way. Brenda D. Davis, the realtor that moves you. Call 248-909-9711 and get moving on your new home purchase or sale today. That's 248-909. 9711 Carnot. Hi, Joe Longhammer here from Joe Longhammer Chevrolet with Regina, the Queen of Car Loans and the Queen of Community. Isn't that right, Regina? That's right. When you buy a car from me, you get on the road in style and you'll be enrolled in the Joe and the Queen's Community Program where we help you work your way towards better credit. Joe knows it's good to help our community here in Waterford and Metro Detroit. To find me, Google Regina, the Queen of Car Loans. Chevrolet, find new roads. Are still listening to be in the driver's seat and we just had dave wilkie the service manager at john joe longhammer chevrolet on if you need maintenance or service to your vehicle you can reach dave at 248-683-7100 248-683-7100 dave was talking about maintenance today and so we're going to stay in that vein so when i think about maintenance i immediately think about self-inventory I think about self-inventory. Oh, mm -hmm. And when thinking mm -hmm. about self-inventory, we need to be intentional. 
We need to be mm. intentional and set some time aside to examine ourselves. If something is going on with us, we need to be specific and know that we are worthy enough to take care of ourselves. A lot of us uh, who mm. are out here, we take care of everybody yep. else and we put ourselves on the back burner. But what Dave said was Stan came to work every day. He didn't take time off. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. We don't take breaks. We may not go on vacation. We may not spend the extra time with family because we're working. But let me encourage you, we all need to take time. Do some self-inventory. Go on vacation. Hug your families. Stay in the moment. Eat the cake and enjoy life. Get up and mm -hmm. live. It is life beyond the job. No mm. man know mm. the day Talk or the hour me. that the Lord is coming back. Mm. And so because we don't know, we're supposed to live our life to the fullest. And because we are supposed to be in good health, and that's why Jesus even came, so that we may have life and life more abundantly and mm. even have good health. Because he came for that, we need to honor what he came for. Mm. Mm. My. Mm. Goodness, I gotta let you have that one. Oh my goodness! I, <laughs> listen, I, listen, she on fire today. Like this mic be, be torched, the electric, we the light should have went out. I mean, because we don't, we don't do that. And in our culture specific, and I'm gonna get a little bit more um, black, um, black folk, um, as my granny used to say, black folk. We we conditioned ourselves over time to thinking that just because you working that you moving. That doesn't that doesn't equate to moving. booked and busy. Yeah, book and I I when the Trick last I was listening to oh man I was listening to y'all. You said booked and busy, like you say, trick of the enemy. Just because you got a somebody got something going on, it may look like they do, and they schedule always booked and thing doesn't mean they make emotion. Doesn't mean that things are happening. Just because you see all these people on social media post up taking pictures in the park with everybody every chance they get doesn't mean that they're actually doing the work. And so we got to get out of that habit of just thinking that, you know, you got to stay busy, busy work or, you know, because you idling down or you thinking, taking time off for of yourself, that is some kind of wrong thing to do. Like, you know, I understand. Yeah, I don't mind is the devil's workshop, but we can't keep telling our kids that over and over time because you want to keep them still that you want to teach them how to have peace. You know, start teaching our kids how to have peace when they're sitting down, quiet time. I remember my grandmother teaching me quiet time. No TV, no anything of that nature. So, you know, you really got to start maintaining and teaching our children early on that it is okay to be in time out and not just for punishment. It's time out to be for yourself. And I want to just kind of just kind of put that out there. Well, I, I you know, I... I'm kind of stuttering and loss of words when I when I think about maintenance right now is because we all do it. You know, mm -hmm. we all put off something that we should do today to tomorrow. Yeah. And why do we do that? Why do we put it off? So the bottom line is if you're feeling a certain kind of way and you're not feeling good or you're feeling in some kind of way, which is the same thing, go check it out. You know, I remember a few Sundays ago I wasn't feeling well and I stayed home. I went to Target, got a, you know, got a couple things over the counter, but I went home and I stayed home all day because my body was shutting down. It said, Regina, mm -hmm. sit down. Mm -hmm. And I did. I stayed home. So we're going to take a quick break Was we're at our half hour spot. And we'll be right back where we're going to shout out different businesses. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Dave Wilkie, service manager at Joe Lunghammer Chevrolet. Since the 1950s, Joe Lunghammer and his family have been honored to service your vehicles. With 112 years of combined service experience, we can take care of any concern you might have. From warranty work to routine oil changes, we treat your vehicle like our own. Call now to schedule a next service appointment at Joe Lunghammer Chevrolet. Stop by anytime, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Get your vehicle serviced right every time. Call 248-683-7100. That's 248-683-7100. Chevrolet, find new roads. And hey, we're back and we're to the part where we talk about different businesses. Um, saluting the businesses because we want to make sure that you uh, visit the businesses or uh, patronize the businesses that we actually know the people that work there or just patronize each other. So a way to glue everybody or key everybody into our show, we decided, you know what, we got to shot different businesses out. And we salute you every week. So now I know Dr. T has the first business. 
Yeah, so the first business we are shouting out is Tease Nail Bar. Tease Nail Bar is located in Oak Park, Michigan. The owner is Tamisha Williams, and her phone number is 269 269- Three four eight three nine seven one. Listen, T's Nail Bar specializes in maintaining healthy, natural nails while using nail enhancements. You can reach her at www.vagaro.com slash T's Nail Bar. She's also on Facebook. Again, this is T's Nail Bar, and it's located at Oak Park, Michigan, 269-348-3971. But I wonder why. Wait, I got a question. Wonder why is it? Is it called Tease Nail yes. Bar? What, where did that name come from? Do you so know? So Tease. So T E E apostrophe S. Her name is Tamisha Williams, and so that is the name that the Lord gave her. Hmm. And so Tease Nail Bar. She okay. is a uh, worship leader. Okay. Okay. Because when you said bar. Yeah, nail bar. Yeah. Okay. So we say bar. I'm thinking of like. You go drinking at the oh, bar. No. Well, well, you what or you get, get drinking you, while you're getting your nails done. Yeah, but when you or get sipping. in there, you, you may what you gonna sip on is the new wine. Yeah. The Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. So as a, um, I, I see a lot of people out there talking about branding. So I wanted to throw some some folks out here, some young, um, energetic folks that I know that's into branding, videographers and photographers. Alike, and the first one is Melvin Grisby of Elite Media Two Four Eight. Um, his telephone number is two four eight six four eight five four three two. We had Quan Delahante as well, um, who are filmmakers out of Pontiac, and they specializing with these the, this young branding market that's out. Um, Melvin Grisby specializes in graphic design work as well, logos, club flyers, and invitations. You can check him out um, on his Instagram at at Elite Media 248. And again, for those young entrepreneurs out there that need that spark, that branding spark, social media influence, um, Elite Media. And then I'll come back with a few more that I know that can help you with the services that you are offering. So shout out to uh, Melvin Grisby because I have used him in the past. Um, he has helped me on quite a few projects I was working on. We we kind of lost touch. Um, I want to say right right before COVID, mm. because you know during that time I had to pivot and do some other things. <laughs> and gotcha. my pivot was I had to start picking up doing the doing the videos in my car because of COVID. So mm. now I'm doing my videos in my car and I'm I'm walking with my with my with my phone. Uh, what do you call this right here? Our, our gadget. So I walk with yeah, it okay, now yeah. in the yeah my what what do you call it? Your iPad, your, just an iPod holder. My, my iPod holder yeah. or my phone holder. The so tripod, now I walk yeah. with the phone. So I had to mm-hmm. pivot because of COVID. But anyway, mm-hmm. shout out to Elite Media, Melvin. He does great work. Um, so I want to shout out um, James Dunbar Gay Sr. Born and raised in the Yak, Pontiac. He opened up his own store, P&J and Party Store, P&J and Party Store, located at 38401 Joy Road, Westland, Michigan. Again, the address is 38401 Joy Road, Westland, Michigan. The grand opening was June 3rd, um, but he, you can get, your, get liquor, pop, soda, chips, and... If you're in the area, we want you to go down and support him in Westland um, and support each other, you know, or just make your way down there and support James Dunbar P&J Party Store. Yes. And the next business we are shouting out is Healing Heart Safety Services. The owner is Denise Harris. Denise Harris is a pillar Mm -hmm. in the city of Pontiac. The address to Healing Heart Safety uh, Services is 47 West Huron Street in Pontiac, Michigan. Denise specializes in training in CPR, AED, first aid. Also, bloodborne pathogens, and she trains in child safety training. She also has our Narcon training, and there's also a Narcon uh, 
uh, dispenser outside of her establishment. You can reach Denise at www.healingheartsafetyservices.com or you can contact her at 248 248- 778-7161. Now listen, I really want you all to patronize her service. If you need training in CPR and first aid, this is the woman you want to see. She's also helping those who have a desire to be trainers. She has a quick training class that she can help you with. And she has child babysitting safety. So please contact Denise Harris at 248-778-7161. Listen. Denise has taken that to another level um, around safety. She's really taking it personal. Even though this is her business, she's taking it personal to making sure that you're able to save a life of a family member or, a, you know, wherever you're at, that you're prepared to do that. Let me tell you how important um, the Narcan is and having that dispenser outside of her business um, she understands the epidemic as it around opiate drugs, heroin, and things of that nature. Unfortunately, in the state of Michigan, there has been an uptick with the use of opium drugs, and people are overdosing, and Narcan saves lives. And that's the only, when, when, it's, when it is used properly, I have two saved lives under my belt using Narcan as a police officer. And when I knew that this is what she was doing, it just takes it to another level that she's going to try to reach out to everybody that we're no longer we're no longer ignoring the issue that we have. We're going to do something about it. So this is a perfect example of someone who has a business and they say, I want to teach you first aid. I'm going to teach you CPR, but I'm also not going to ignore a problem. I'm not I don't have to be the police. I don't have to be you know, or or in a doctor or wait till somebody come in through the emergency. I'm going to help my community now. I'm going to teach them and show them because we have family members that may still be addicted to this dangerous and and just unfortunate, frightening drug. And if you if you're able to administer Narcan, you can help them and save them, even though they may be trying to damage their life. You can save them with the use of this Narcan. And just the fact that I shout out to Denise for being solution driven. And that's just very important to me. And I just thank her for it. Excuse me, specifically, because it's again, solution based. It's not just putting her head in the sand and talking about it. She just like, no, I'm gonna teach you how to, you know, do something about it. And I appreciate her for that. And the opportunity to work with her. Um, we just had a stump out the violence march um, just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't look at. I just want to just get this out real quick. I know we got another business. We was like, go on to okay, your next business, okay, Gil. Okay, that I, just, I just want to. I mean, listen. I mean, she does a lot of work, but she just she just taught a free class, and I just want y'all to just kind of really, really. I'm emphasizing this point to really get a hold to her. I'm just that's it. Okay, now BJ Graphics. You gonna make me apologize for that because Liz is gonna think I'm trying to cut you off to giving her kudos. I wasn't, but you you know we're on a certain. I know we're on a certain time. (laughs) We're on a certain time, so that's what that word was like. You hit a button. Okay, good. It was a very sensitive (laughs) moment, time right there. But BJ Graphics is another uh, social media guru. Alicia A plus White. She does a lot of work. Um, in um, Pontiac um, with um, her partner Trina you can get a hold of them at 313-329-0040 that's 313-329-0040 um, they also do flyers and logos obituaries things of that nature um, and that's BJ Group um, Alicia A plus White all right, the next business I want to actually let me salute because he is my, um, my big dog. brother. He's my big brother, but really I'm the big sister because I'm older. I'm a, you are older. Okay, now. wow. Let's you know, you I mean, stop older it. Don't make you, Can you older stop don't make it? You the big sister, though. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you know. Okay. Like, well, she's taller than us. I mean, which right, 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 right. Like, oh, no, man. we're talking about <laughs> age. But okay. Shout out to my to my younger brother, Fred Moore. <laughs> Mr. Moore. Shout shout, <laughs> shout shout out to him because he is a barber, right? What's what's a sophisticated word besides barber? That's his that's his second trade, third trade. Because I would like to call him a cut technician. Okay, you know okay, I like, like that. He just, he he's real, a cut technician. He's a cut technician. I like a barber extraordinaire. Okay. personally, he, she, she's putting like an extraordinary, extraordinary on everything. That's it. Cut he technician, extraordinary. Okay? Barber, extraordinary. <laughs> what? Okay, 
She could be a little biased. He, <laughs> he <laughs> can I let me get my time, folks. He is at Escape to Wellness. I like that. I like so that. So you escape. You're going to get your escape because you're going to be sitting in that chair. You're getting that personal attention. You're getting your wellness together, right? You're getting that cut. You're getting that fade. But Escape Wellness is located at 318 South Boulevard, Pontiac, Michigan. It's a barber and hair salon. Now, if you need the contact for it, you need to hit him on his cell. But, you know, you know, sometimes people are better texting, you know. So hit the text. Text Fred Moore at 248-770-2293. Again, that's 248-770-2293. I'm going to say it again for the people in the back and the front and in the middle. Escape Wellness, Bob Burr and Hair Salons, located at 318 South Boulevard, Pontiac, Michigan, 248-770-2293. You need to get that cut today. Because, you know, everybody should be getting that cut. When you're a man or if you're a woman and you got a low hair cut, you need a low, you need that fade, you need to look good, I want you to contact Fred Moore, 248-770-2293. All right. And the next business we're going to be shouting out is Uncle Skull's Backyard Barbecue. Now, Uncle Skull Skull is, Cisco McKinney is the owner. He is located at the mobile gas station on M59 and Woodward in Pontiac. He's there every Friday and Saturday, y'all. Y'all need to get some of that Uncle Skull's Backyard Barbecue. Now, I I know that you all remember barbecuing in your backyard and how your uncles used to make it taste good. No, I don't remember that. Well, Mm. listen, for those of us that know that, (laughs) Uncle Skull's going to take care of you. Again, he is located at the mobile gas station on M59 in Pontiac every Friday and Saturday. Go get you some of that barbecue. And listen, he's uh, a championship wrestling coach as well. You know what I'm saying? And what he does as an educator, has his master's degree. I mean, the man is is, is on point. Uh, and when you go see Mr. Moore, he specializes in young men. Um, you're not you're going to get more just a, than a haircut um, when, you, when, you, when you get in that chair with Brother Moore. And I appreciate him because um, he helped mentor my son through some very tough times that we were going through. Um, so if you got a young man and you know he needs to look good, keep him faded up, make sure you put him in that chair with Mr. Moore so he can get some of that wisdom so that we all need somebody else to kind of tap into our village and tap into our kids. So I wanted to make sure that we express that out. And um, he specializes in that, right? Um, so my my next person um, is Visuals by Reggie B. He's another videographer out of Pontiac. Um, Michigan. His uh, text line is 269-267-9286. Now, he um, he is a camera operator as well. He's worked on um, sets with Tyler Perry. He's traveled national with artists, um, doing big stage events uh, that you see at the Super Bowl. He's been a cameraman for them, but he definitely can put your vision into your small business to help you grow as well. And so that's um, what I have for today as it relates to the three businesses. And I appreciate y'all. All All right. So we now remember we are shouting out different businesses every week. If you want to actually have your business shouted out, you can email us at be in the driver's seat at gmail.com. That's be in the driver's with an S C at gmail.com. Yes. No, okay. Well, I just want to say one more time, I really appreciate shouting out these businesses and giving these folks an opportunity to to at least be heard and people to get their information out. Um, There is more. I mean, you guys don't have to do this. Appreciate it. Thank you so much because people need um, these resources right now, um, specifically speaking of what's probably going to happen in the next year or so, but we're going to talk about that in our next segment. All right, we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. And we are going to dedicate our last part to the fathers. So, men, we pop, pop. are saluting you as tomorrow is Father's Day. The fathers and the father figures. Yes. yes. Right? Because everybody might not have a child, but they were or they are a father to some young man or young lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back. Regina, the queen of Carlons here with Joe Long Hammer Chevrolet. If you're looking to get into a new or used vehicle with affordable rates, we've got your back. My lenders are making unheard of deals where others may have roadblocks. 
Regardless of your financial situation, I can get you financed and driving today. Simply Google Regina the Queen of Car Loans. Ride in style with the Queen. Regina the Queen of Car Loans at Joe Longhammer Chevrolet in Waterford. Chevrolet, find new roads. We're back, and this last segment we're gonna we're dedicating to fathers. For Father's Day, but fathers who are father figures or fathers. Um, and I I have my list of uh, fathers or father figures that I want. Fathers that were my dad, I'm sorry, my dad, Chesley Woodard Sr. And then I have other individuals that are father figures to me now since my dad has gone on to glory. So first one is my dad, Chesley Woodard Sr., um, you know, of course, I he's a pill, he was a pillar in my life, right, and a pillar in the community because of the relationship my dad had with people in the community is the reason why I'm still selling some of the cars I am selling or the amount of cars I'm selling because I have I am selling to the people that have worked with my dad, that used to work with my dad at General Motors, but I'm also selling cars to their family. So salute to my dad who actually taught me how um, to be a lot of who I am today besides my mother. And when I say that is, um, I just think about my dad. I said my dad's um, slogan, and I said it to Gil at the beginning of the show. My dad taught me how to prepare for war in the time of peace. And we all do that, right? We all prepare for war in time of the peace. The second person I want to salute is my, my uncle, who actually is a father figure to me now because before my dad passed away, he left, he, you know, he sat us down because my dad was ill and he said, hey, you know what? I want, you know, you to, if you need anything, you got any, you need anything and you're having a hard time, call your, call your uncle. He needs to be, be your dad figure now because eventually I'm going to go on to glory. Next one is Hillary Robertson, who I call Pops, has been my Pops from, for actually all my life. It's my best friend's um, dad, who we spent yesterday together because my great niece actually graduated from um, high school. And, uh, you know, we spent some time yesterday together, and we get together on birthdays, holidays. So shout out to Hillary Robertson, who I love. Next person I want to shout out is... Uh, I call him Daddy Sid. Sidro Sid Davis is actually Brenda Davis who comes on the show. It's her husband. Um, you know, he's he's always been there just giving me advice on men and other things in the world, you know. Um, and then shout out to Melvin Randolph Sr., who actually is Mama Rosa Randolph's husband. Um, he's always been there. I think they, they have been in my life. The Randolph's been in my life. Melvin and Mama Rose has been in my life, I want to say since maybe uh, 2008 or 9. No, actually before then. I'm sorry. 2000, yeah. 2008, 9, somewhere there. And uh, I ended up just calling him Daddy because just like everybody calls her Mama Rosa, uh, Daddy Rand has always been there, giving me words of encouragement during good times and bad times and always supported me uh, with getting uh, GM vehicles from me. So those are my five. Who's next? I'll take next. So <laughs> <laughs> the first person I want to shout out is my brother, Vincent Burrow. Uh, Vincent was the first person who made me an auntie. So I was so excited to have uh, Kiana and Chelsea to be their aunt. So shout out to my brother, Vincent Burrow. And the next person I want to shout out is my Duke, my husband, Frederick Moore. He's an awesome husband, and he's a great father to Sierra. So I want to shout him out today to tell him I love him. Thank you for your sacrifice and all that you do for your family and being the priest over our home. I also want to shout out my brother-in-law, who I love, too. His name is Anthony Moore. I have seen him be a father figure to my nephew, AJ. And I thank you, sir, for being a strong foundation for your son. Thank you for being a uh, good example of what a man should look like and what um, taking care of responsibility looks like. The, uh, the fourth person I want to shout out is Elder Carl Reed. Carl Reed is an elder, uh, an associate pastor in our church, and I love the way he loves his family. I love the way he loves his wife and his two sons. So shout out to you, sir, for being a great example and showing us what that looks like in the church. 
And last but certainly not least, I want to shout out my spiritual father, Marlon J. Reed, who is my pastor, the person who is responsible for feeding my soul weekly. I want to shout him out and say, sir, I appreciate you. He does not have any children, but he is my spiritual father. And I appreciate him and his labor of love and how he pours into us week after week. So thank you so much, sir. And happy Father's Day. Man, shout out to all of uh, the fathers who are uncles and brothers to those um, children who are fatherless. Uh, shout out to all of the fathers who on a regular basis uh, take pride in what they're doing. Um, I want to give the first shout out to my dad, uh, Gil Garrett, um, uh, as when he made his transition a couple years ago. It's been tough, but I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity to be his son. Um, the second is my father-in-law, Pop Green, who made his transition a year or so ago as well. And um, without those two men giving me the motivation that I needed to do what I had to do for myself and encourage me to continue to grow as a man um, and giving me the examples that I needed, um, I'm, I'm grateful for, for both of those men. Um, shout out also to my uncle Emmett Russell, um, who has been my 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 ride or die, my road dog. I can do no wrong in his eyes, and he gonna const- and then he gonna correct me, chin check me if he need to, um, chin check you, chin check me if he needs to, and that is no joke. And that's even to this day, he got a strong right hand for a mm-hmm. seventy year old man. Um, shout out to my other uncle Cornell Green who is my prayer warrior, who is the man who I've always looked to um, as a man of faith, show me how to talk to God, show me that it's okay to go with him um, in my nakedness. Um, he, he, he'd allowed me to see certain things and aspects as a man that we just don't, we don't show enough. So the me being in a T.D. Jakes phase, naked and not ashamed, is coming from watching my Uncle Cornell Green live in that fashion. Um, Robert Ford, um, who's been my police officer, mentor, father, uh, the one that's directed me through 25 years of law enforcement, but yet 25 years of just life as a young man, being a police officer, a black police officer, how to deal with folks who may not see me as a human or, or, you know, but he is one that taught me that if I just put my head down and do the work, if I become solution-based, if I show up to everybody's door that call the police and give them the help, not necessarily always what they wanted, but what they needed, that was Robert Ford. That is Robert Ford. So I want to give him a shout-out. And a shout-out um, definitely to um, uh, Captain Ewing, who's also another um, I would say one of my law enforcement mentors and fathers. He's the captain of our substation. Last but not least, my brother, Eric Steven, um, who I've watched him grow um, into a mighty father, not just a regular father, but a mighty father. And I've learned a lot from him by just having empathy and compassion and not always having to be corrective, but learning how to love and hug on my child and my children. So shout out to all of those fathers out there and happy Father's Day. So I'm so excited to be celebrating men. You know, the Bible says that the man is the head, the priest. So we want you all to know that we appreciate you. Uh, We want to celebrate you. Oftentimes, fathers get the short end of the stick. On Mother's Day, restaurants are sold out. You can't get in. But on (laughs) Father's Day, you have more access. But, man, we want you to know that we value you. You are important to us. You were the first being created. God made you out of dust, and then he took us out of your rib. So there's a purpose for you, and we love you. We salute you today. Happy Father's Day. And for those who have lost their children, the men that have lost their sons or their daughters, today our hearts go out to you. We thank you for being a pillar. We thank you for being in in that place of father. And today... We want to salute you as well. And then I want to say, if you're not able to be with your loved one, your father, or the father figure today, then make sure you call them and you do something extra for them. And doing extra doesn't always mean spending more money. 
It's about showing that extra love. That maybe you'll spend that extra couple minutes on the phone with them. Right. You know what I mean? Maybe you'll FaceTime them instead of calling them. Or if they don't have that phone where you can do FaceTime, maybe you'll find a loved one or just somebody else that you can actually see that face, you know? Yeah. Because the phone now, all this technology mm-hmm. here, out mm-hmm. here, it's, it, you just got to do a little bit extra to let that person know that you love them. That's good. And also, if there are some offense or some heart and hearts if you haven't talked to your father yes mm. if there's someone who's him. listening Make a way. now yeah. that you have not had that conversation or you're angry or mad choose today to forgive choose the day to say i'm sorry choose the day to say old things are passed away behold today we're going to do something new apologize give the hugs give the flowers and let people know you appreciate them well, you know what? We had a great show today. And, um, you know, we appreciate mm-hmm. Dave uh, Wilkie, the service manager, uh, calling in this morning from Joe Longhammer Chevrolet. And uh, shout out to Stan's uh, family um, who we, you know, we, we understand the hurt. And you can say, you know, I don't, you can say I don't understand the hurt, but until you go through something, you don't understand the hurt. But I do say this it's a different when somebody's sick. Mm-hmm. And they pass away because in your mind you get a chance to prepare. But when somebody all of a sudden passes away all of a sudden, that's a whole different atmosphere, mm-hmm. whole different ball. So love on your loved one today because you don't know when the last time you're going to see them. That's real. Amen. All right, amen. 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 So happy Saturday, everybody. And fathers, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, folks. Happy Father's Day and have a good week. See you next week. Same time, same place. Mr. Chuck the Process. Don't forget to cut that grass. (laughs) (laughs) Or. (laughs) You've been listening to Be in the Driver's Seat with Regina, the queen of car loans, and mental health expert, Dr. Teresa Moore. Brought to you by Joe Hammer Chevrolet of Waterford. Be in the driver's seat. A Saturday morning mix of cars, credit, and wellness created just for you. From Regina, the queen of car loans, and Dr. Teresa Moore, thank you for listening.